long pull round. There it is. <laughs> Happy days. We'll just get straight on with it. Right then, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray, and I'm an angling addict. And today, I'm out on the River Tees in the Northern River Masters. I've actually drawn peg A5 today, um, and it's in an area known as Preston Park. Never fished it before, but it's a fairly deep river is this, and I've been told on good authority that it's really just feeder only. So with that in mind, I've got two feeder rods set up, but I have actually also set a pole line up, because as far as I can see, there's been quite a few fish topping on the inside. So it's a fairly simple plan of attack today, two feeder lines, one approximately towards the middle, the other one about three quarters of the way. If we really need to, we'll go even further beyond that. Uh, the pole line's out at 11 metres. So 11 metres on the pole, I've got about 12, 13 foot of water. Out in the middle, I've got somewhere around about a five and a half count, so I'm thinking somewhere in the order of about 16 foot. And as I go three quarters of the way across, that's reduced down to a four count and about 12 foot of water. Remember guys, if you enjoy the videos, Give them a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode every time I upload one. Right, we're about four minutes out from the all-in, so I'm going to get the rods in hand, get ready to go. So I'm going to start out cupping three or four balls on the pole line, and then get straight out on the feeder, put a few loads out on that. I've got the bull and all round black ground bait with me today. I'll put some caster in, a few dead reds, a little bit of chopped worm and we'll let that settle and that's time I've got a really nice marker in front of me which is a golf flag <laughs> on the green opposite you probably can't see it on camera but uh, that's exactly where well, I'm going to put my bowl in. Very little flow on the river, but because of the depth, I've got a gram and a half to float on. There's a fair bit of wind on as well. But when we do come on to it, it's a nice stable rig, it should get down fairly quickly the bottom undulates quite a lot, even within the first of a couple of inches. What I was finding was I could be four inches on bottom, or maybe just touching. So that's all set it so that we're laying plenty of line on the deck. But this is the third one going in. I just need to make a fourth one up. Just, as usual, I've been rushing around not quite ready for the match, but... We'll get one more made up and then we'll get on the feeder. Okay, I'm going to start out on a big feeder, get some loads in. I'm not going to feed the long line, because if I can catch short, it's less distance to bring them back. I've got trees up above me. Just need to be careful, I've got to cast through a gap here. Particularly while we've got the big feeder on. That's one in. Three, four, five, six. Taking a bit longer to go down on the feeder than it does on the bomb. Yeah, probably eight or nine count on the feeder. So the rods we've got set up today, the 12 foot sphere and the 13 foot medium heavy sphere to get across to the far side. Both on braid as usual. Just aids with the casting. Okay, so I'm just going to swap out for a slightly smaller feeder, one ounce version. Right, we're ready to go. Worm on the hook, worm in a dead red. So 
with these wide with long shoes, you might have just noticed that I've jumped into my bib and brace. And literally, so I'm standing up to get comfy, just had a little drop back there. Maybe something nudging around this bit. Right, nothing on the worm to start. Just gonna go on to a couple of dead reds in it. White pinky. Maybe a lot of skimmers in this river rather than true bream. I think the other thing I'm going to do is loose feed caster over the pole line. Well, so far, no bites. I'm just going to ring around the changes at the moment. Try a double caster on the hook. Tiniest of movements on the tip there. Might have just been something bumping the line, but so far, no positive bites. I'm going to bring this back again. Can't help feeling that there's more fish right across than there is down the middle. Can't get a bite on this next chuck. I might have to start thinking about going across. Let's put a small piece of worm. It's a fish just rolled on the inside. Not far from the pole line again, so definitely think there's a few to be had down here. And there, before I go out on the uh, long feeder, resort to it because it's quite a windy day. And then just have a look on the pole line early. First fish. It's a roach. It's a tiny, tiny fish, but at least it's a start. There's a little tiny nudge. Might need to shorten the up length up here. But I'm not really getting bites. Just the tiniest the movements there. Bring that back. I think what I'll do is shorten the up length up a little bit, but not really getting marked bait. So there was definitely something I had a little go at that. But it's not taking it positively. I'm going to make an adjustment to this rig if I need to go back on it. 
and I'm going to get on the pole. Right, so the setup a little bit awkward to show you in here today, but uh, it's a typical AS8 1.5 gram pole. We've got a pretty good olive and a few number eight droppers down the line. So, fairly positive rig. I think we've got one, two, three droppers. Got a size 16 Drennan red maggot hook on and a 0.10 bottom. So, fairly strong. I'm going to start on a single red maggot. Just have a look. See if there's anything sat on this pole when I'm doing. The feeder just seems too slow. This is not the black one. That's a bite. We're in. So we were right. Much better on the pool from the feeder at this moment in time. That's not as good as it. Tiny perch. So, not the skimmers we're hoping for, but it's something. The wind is quite bad. I'm relatively sheltered. It's blowing upstream. Got a back shot on this rig to keep everything in position. Let's see if there's anything else down there. If it's not that great, then we'll just go out long. All there is is small perch. Nice fish. Won't lift it up. That's a small roach. It doesn't look to be a great deal down on this pole line right now. It's pretty slow. Just try the tip of a worm. Continue to feed this line. Maybe even bang some more ground bait on it. Hope something turns up on it later on. I'm gonna have a look on the long feeder. I am gonna have a look back on the middle line first, just before I make the absolute commitment to go out long. Maybe something settled over those few loads that we've put in now. Pulls way too slow. Feed is slow as well. But we'll go and have a look on the middle line again. And if not, I'm going to go out long. I'm going to go with live reds. A live red and a live pinky this time out. a bite, just tightening up on the tip there. 
definite bite than red maggot. Short jab. Well, this is far too slow. Not getting any real bites on the feeder in the middle. It's time to pick up the big rod. Never go along. I'm going to put a horizon feeder on just so I can get out there. Just going to go with maggot through the feeder. Maggot's on the hook to start with. See if we can get a bite. That's it. 51 meters. Hit that no problem. Right, well this is painfully slow, we're over an hour and a half in now, I've got three tiny fish. Um, there was some good 30 pound weights out of this stretch last week, but you wouldn't think there was a fish in the place at the minute. It was desperate, desperate, just can't get a bite on the feeder, can't get one long. So I'm going to look on the pole again, come back in on the inside line, probably put, clip the bigger feeder back on really get some bait on it. I get nothing on the pole this run through. I'm going to put some more ground bait on it as well. Got nothing to lose at this stage. Looks like something's got all of the bait here. Yeah, we're in. What is this? Another perch. So not exactly spectacular. So I've just had a bank runner down the bank and he says nobody's really catching at all and that apparently a couple of skimmers up by the road bridge I think that's the Jubilee bridge is the best they've heard of so far. So there's something wrong with the river. Right I'm going to put some pinkies into this ground bait. Feed it on the inside here Stick some more caster in, some more dead reds. Let's keep this pole line fed. Never know, they might turn up on it. Right, I was contemplating going out on the bigger feeder and getting some more bait on this middle line, but I think since nobody's catching, and I'm just going to uh, go a worm through the feeder, a tiny piece of worm on the hook. Sit and wait. See if we can get any kind of skimmer. Well, 
Well, it's so slow, guys. I think I'm going to knock the cameras off for a bit. And if the fishing picks up, I'll switch them back on. If not, I'll see you at the end. Right, well, there's two hours left in the match. And I've heard of a few fish that have been coming out in the horse field, apparently. There's maybe a couple of eight-pound weights above me. But other than that, most people are struggling. Since I last spoke to you, I've had three little roach on the pole. Thought that was going to start picking up. And then I decided to just go and have a look on the middle line again with the feeder. Put two live red maggots on. Tip's gone round and we've taken a small bream, maybe a pound and a half or so. So all told, I've probably got about two pound right now. So absolutely nowhere in the section or the zone. And that's another pull. Oh. Missed that one. Decent bite as well. I'm just fishing red maggots. That bite sort of developed and then dropped back and then went again. Maybe red maggots the way to go. That's two pulls in two chucks so just stick with the double for now a little bit of a drop back there yeah something just having a go I'm gonna let this develop Looks to be on. She is on. We're getting into a few now. So all is not lost. We've got a few bream in. Ah, oh, tell me that ain't come off. Ah, oh, it has come off, you know. Has it? No, it's still on. What is it? What on earth is this? Thought oh, that'd come off, it must have been swimming at me. Small skimmer. Got smaller than the first one. But maybe, just maybe, we've finally got a few in the swim. I'll stick with feeding dead red through the feeder. Got plenty of chopped worms still as well. Double live red on the hook. Dead red through the feeder. Has brought me three baits in three chucks there. So let's just stick with it until something changes. Back in. Should be clear, mate. That looks like a bite developing on the bounce. There it is. Something having to go at this again. A little skimmer, maybe. Got a boat coming through here as well. Let's see if we can just get this bite to develop properly. Whatever that was, it was on it as soon as it went down. Couldn't do much with it because I had a paddle border coming over the top. And then the boat, trying to get the braid sunk. Right, well, that bit might be mashed up, so I'm going to bring this one back. The bit's okay. That is going again. Funny little bites of these from these skimmers. You definitely need to be on top of them. It seems to be taking it as it's going in. Just draw that back a little bit. Yeah. 
Well, I think there's a lot of fish down there at the moment. Considering there was nothing down there earlier, nothing short of a miracle. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, so the maggots chewed up. I'm going to try the little piece of worm, see if they fancy it. Might just get a better bite. I'm surprised. No bite on the worm. Not quickly anyway. That's a little bit of a knock there on maggot. Come on. They're a bit tentative. And again. Come on, proper bite. And again. Is it going to go? Yeah. Got to wait for him. You've got to wait for him to take. Again, this fish feels like it's come off, but I think it's swimming at me again. Yeah, smallish fish. I'm not even sure it's a skimmer to be honest. What is this? Perch? Perch. Hmm. It's another little bite. Just a nudge. I'll do one of those bigger skimmers. Definitely fish coming in now. Go on, go on, go on properly. Uh, could have been a small fish that. Still there. Well, I think that fish is gone. Chewed maggots. And there's another little bump. Funny how these bites develop. Or don't, as the case may be. Come on, just go around. Seems to be taking a lifetime for anything to happen with this tip rod. There's a bite developing. Go on. God, they're messing about with it. Go on. It's got to be on. It is on. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like a big fish. So I'm not sure if those skimmers that were there have deserted me. That is a skimmer though. Oh, I'll swing him, risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, he's doing his best to shake himself off the hook. Tiny skimmer. So the question is, do I have a look on my pole line now? Or do I stick with this? We're catching fish on it, albeit slow. But double maggot seems the best bit. That's another bump. I think maybe I've got to stick with this. And get three or four more of those better skimmers before the bell goes in an hour and a quarter and maybe uh, I don't really know but maybe we'll put ourselves in with a shout well that all depends on what we can pull out there's another nudge Well, I've just picked the rod up 
after chatting to the chap behind me, a little piece of worm on and there's a fish there. It never even moved. And that's another tiny skimmer. Another dinky one. So no wonder they're not moving it. So, if that's all there is right now, I'm sure there's got to be some better quality ones out there. I've had one decent one. I've got an hour left to go. I'm just going to have a quick nosy on the pole. So I put some, a couple more balls of ground bait on this earlier. See if any of those roach have rocked up, whether we can catch reasonably quickly on it. If I can't, it's back on the feeder for the last hour. See if we can find another decent skimmer or two. If there's going to be anything on this line, it'll be there now. One last little look on this now. I had two casts there, a shredded maggot, which I suspect was a small fish taking the bait on the way down. Just got snagged on the bottom. But, really, there's no abundance of fish on this pole line. Not enough to warrant sticking on it for much longer. I was kind of hoping some skimmers would have rocked up on this, but they haven't. Okay, that's enough of that. So I'm just going to finish the session off. Fish double red maggot all the way. Because it seems to be what they want. Just got to hope and pray now that we get a couple of pulls and it puts us in with a shout of the section. I think the zone's probably gone. The bridge peg apparently is fishing reasonable, but a lot of people are struggling. Oh, and that is a pull. Oh, and that's on. So it's tightening into that. There we go. So getting back on the feeder. Double red maggot definitely seems to be the way. Even if they're not big fish. That's a, that's a roach. Got another small roach on the feeder. There's a tiny nudge. Come on, let's have a bream. Another tiny little nudge. All the bites seem to be coming as soon as the feeder goes in. Oh. Pull round, slight drop back. Is that on? That was going round. No. Strange. I don't know what that was. Probably a small skimmer. That's a big old boat.
And that's fish on. Pretty much as soon as that went in, I've been tightening down again. That's a better fish. Ah, oh, what has he found? No way. Don't believe it. Found a snag, he's done me. Lost it. Decent skimmer. Had to be. Or was it a perch? Can't believe it. There's a little nudge. Probably not going to come to anything. This has been a frustrating day. Oh, what? Absolutely savage bite. Missed it. It's dropped it. Ridiculous bite. I think they're just sitting there looking at it. There must be perch or something, I don't know. It's chewed it. So it could have been a roach, that. Very, very frustrating. Let's wait for this big ass boat to get past. I think he might be off my line. So I might be all right here. Yeah, it's probably far enough out. Oh, we've got nine minutes left. Whether I can extract a fish or not, I don't know. It's probably not going to make any difference to the overall standings now. Certainly not to this section. If what I'm led to believe earlier is right, and there is a couple of eight pounds up there, we've got nowhere near that. And that is a bait. Oh. And fish on. What is going on with my bail arm? My bail arm's clicking. This doesn't feel like a brain. And it don't feel as good as the fish that I lost last time out. Yeah, roach. So that's what's given us these uh, wild bites. Not a bad fish though. Could have done with a few more of them earlier. Another fish. Again, only small. Two minutes of this match left. Ah, it's a skimmer. So, maybe just time for one more and get out there. Last chuck then. Bit of a hasty one, not the best throw in the world. 
And that's time. Right then guys, I'll get wrapped up. I'll weigh in for completeness, but I don't hold out much hope. Looks like I'll be trying again on the Don. 314. <laughs> Thank you. £3.14. Well that was disappointing to say the least. £3.14, apparently above me. £35 off peg one is winning it. Uh, I think there was a £15, something like a 7 so obviously there's been a few bream further up the river um, and I've not been on them again today. <sighs> what can you do? Frustrating day. There was a lot of good weights out down the whole of this length last time. But I know the lad down below me, he struggled as well. He's had four skimmers. It's just been a really, really awkward day. Anyway, it is what it is. I'll get all the results up for you now. Right guys, I think next up it's the Don, so stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, tight lines.